what's good youtube back again with another video and today's video i decided to do a my ad edc this is just going to be a quick video of the few ad supplies that i carry with me on a daily in case i want to catch a quick sketch so here is the pencil case that i carry with me on a daily now bear in mind i am an artist and I have tons of art supplies. These are the art supplies that I carry with me on a daily. In case, as I said before, I want to catch a quick sketch. Let's get into it. So first, for years, I was not a mechanical pencil kind of guy. Until I saw a video by Jetstream Pens about over-engineered Japanese mechanical pencils. That kind of sent me down the rabbit hole into Japanese over-engineered mechanical pencils. This is the Zebra Delgad. And what this feature has is that there's a spring, I don't know if you can see, So no matter how hard you press, the pencil point won't break. But what really sold me on this pen, so, sorry, was the rubber. Check this out. Now you see me? Now you don't. Now you see me? Now you don't. Yeah, it's just that simple feature, and I had to get it. This this mechanical pencil was actually my most recent acquisition. It's the Uni Alpha Gel with the Cure Toga engine. Basically, the pencil point rotates each time you lift the point off and place it back on the, the paper. It keeps rotating to keep that point even so that you don't have a taper on one side, which might cause your lines to be uneven. You also have the option of switching that feature off so that the point does taper. In case that's the effect that you want. Now, this one is the Tombow Monograph. It's the cheaper out of the three pencils that I'll be showing you. Yet it actually feels the most premium. I kid you not. This thing is heavy for the price I paid for it, which was about six seven usd so this feature is if you could see right there this is a weight tilt it back it goes and what that does is allow you that once you shake the pencil the point comes out because the the weight actually presses down on this kind of piston here which releases the pencil point that was a cute cool feature for me and pretty much why I got this pencil. Then to release the eraser, simply twist it. Yeah, so I like that feature too. This is the Tombow Monograph mechanical pencil. And you should have seen this in my previous video. This is the Jetstream Edge. This is actually a pen that writes like a pencil. I had to add it to my collection because every now and again I actually do trace over my pencil with pen. And this is what I'll be using. As I mentioned too, this pen also comes in handy for writing in my Bible.
for my eraser the Durand automatic eraser I actually don't plan on using any of the erasers on the mechanical pencils I bought I actually hate using the eraser that pencils come with I like the eraser on my pencils to look pristine and in the same condition I got them in so this will be the eraser that I use so this was a cheap Strathmore sketchbook that I had that I had bought you know just to sharpen my my skills every now and again with quick sketches I haven't used it much but whenever I do get the chance yeah I do do sketches this is um, a self portrait of me and if you're interested in seeing more of my ad check me out at j j e y dot brown b r o w n e at that's j dot brown at on instagram please give me a follow And lastly, I know from the thumbnail, few of you will be wondering what were those exotic looking pencils. And this is what they are. These are Karen Dash exotic pencils. I actually don't use these anymore, but when it comes to my ADC, I always like to carry around statement pieces, things that can cause a conversation to be struck. And with these, I have gotten many conversations like, what are those pencils? Other than that, I do in fact love how they look, and I always put them on my desk on display.